Yo! What up guys, welcome back to another one. Oh, you see him, Fred? Do you see him? If you guys look right out the window, yeah, you see right here, we're sitting on the road. I was like, where are all of our pigeons? They're not at the truck stop. Someone riding a jet ski in the, in the background there, but they're all right here in this little grass field, literally right next to the road. And Fred and I are just sitting here drooling over them. I'm wondering if this guy would let me hunt him here. Cause this is out of city limits here. Looks like his wife is riding a jet ski. And uh, yeah, Fred, dude, we better go ask for permission, dude. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. I actually just went and checked the traps and there was no pigeons over there whatsoever. I'm like, why? Where are they? There's too many of them not to be there, especially at two o'clock in the p.m. because this is when the truck stop is absolutely just loading up is that two o'clock two to five two to four thirty is like the busiest time they're all over here in some grass well i'm gonna go see if i can get permission on this i've heard this guy is really nice never talked to him we'll see here oh well we got permission um this is the most residential type of urbanish hunt I've ever thought about doing in my life um, he said that this is the first day that they they've really been here and uh, I can tell because they just stayed there for a minute and then they were gone as I was talking to them up there they actually bumped off the lawn and they landed out here on the road they're all walking around he was like hey you can have at it he was like I don't think you're gonna get more than one shot off because they didn't want to stay there very long they're already gone Looks like they're headed back to the truck stop. Let's go see if they're there by now. The truck stop where we do all of the trapping and this guy's place here, which he was an awesome fella. Big shout out to him for being a nice guy. Um, it's only not even barely a mile. It's not even a mile actually. I bet you it's, uh, I bet you it's a good barely half a mile, barely half a mile away from each other. So, we're gonna go back to the truck stop, see if they are over there, I'm sure they are. That's what these pigeons do though. Some days they want grain back here in the truck stop, some days they just wanna go feed in grass for just an hour, 30 minutes, and then they're back to the truck stop. Oh, Frederick, he's a good boy. Him a good boy. They are not back here, Frederick. They are nowhere to be seen. Well, 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 it is the next day and we are headed to the truck stop to go check the traps. I put them out this morning. Same as usual, usual normal routine of sitting the traps. They've been out for, I don't know, a little over an hour and I was headed down the road and I happened to look down in the center lane, in the turning lane, and this was there. Look at that. Boom, dog bowl. Hey, a win is a win, people. <clears throat> I love collecting stuff off the sides of the road. Yeah, sounds a little weird, maybe, but um, I've got a lot of five gallon buckets. Most of the buckets that we sit on in our A-frame blind when we're hunting, uh, if there's eight of us or 10 of us, most of them buckets have came from the side of the road. I think I'm gonna start filming some of my side of the road finds, you know, just throwing them in the vlog, just like this one. If y'all like it, smash the thumbs up button. And if I could have you guys' help, please, please, each and every one of you, please hit that thumbs up button. Let's get this video over a thousand likes. I think it's been literally over 20 videos since I've had one go over a thousand likes. Yep, it just feels very nice. It looks great, it helps out a lot when that happens. So, thank y'all. Let's head to the truck stop. Well, we are here and we got nothing in here. This doorway did have a ton of wheat in there, and I mean a ton. It's all gone. Same on this side as well. All the wheat that I put in here, it is gone. That's good, because the pigeons, I watched them a long time this morning. I watched them for a while. They're going in that doorway. They're getting more comfortable with the trap. That's what's good about putting a little bit of food in that doorway, is they get more comfortable with that trap. So, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of food in both doorways, not much. Not much at all. 
where they want to walk in there. See? A little something, something like that. Yep. Then on this side, we're just going to drop it on top. Guess we'll see what happens again. Oh, and the spring trap, check it out. It hasn't even been touched. Nothing. I was really expecting the spring trap to really be a game changer when I bought it. It was a lot of money. And when I bought it, I'm like, oh, it'll be worth it. That thing is going to be worth gold. It's going to work great, right? No, not so right, actually. Jordan's large trap that I'm using actually does way better. They're a lot more comfortable with it, and I don't know why. Whew, well, 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 it is the next day yet again, and every morning I come out here and I set these traps. Now, um, it's been really, really hot. It's been very hot the last two days, but again, I set it this morning. Right now, it is two o'clock in the afternoon. I sat this trap at about nine, probably right at nine. So you're talking five hours at most. Look at this. First time we've caught a pigeon with the old spring trap. Bad news is, is that he dead, y'all. He dead. I mean, he's real dead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. You know, I usually shoot these in the field. I shoot pigeons all the time. We hunt them all the time. That's how the pigeon trapping got started, was because of the pigeon hunts. So it's not like I'm really bothered about it, but I am bothered. I wanted old Clark to have a buddy. Man, it must have just been a little too long in there, this summer heat. That's what's bad about that spring trap. I was afraid of that. It basically pins them down, you know what I mean? And doesn't let them move so they can't breathe very good. Because if it had room in it like that where it stood up, it wouldn't be bad. But when they get in there, they get pretty trapped. I was afraid of that with that trap, that it would just basically pin them down and almost suffocate them pretty much where they can't move. You know, the big trap, Jordan's trap here, it's got a lot of room in there. They can walk around and <clears throat> heck, it's even got a little bit of shade in the middle. <sighs> but the spring trap, darn it, darn it, darn it. I wish we could have got that one alive. That's the first time that's ever happened. That is the very first time we've ever trapped anything in the spring trap, but we learned something from it. If we're gonna have that spring trap out here, like I was doing, the spring trap has to be checked literally every hour, especially in this heat. That's too bad. But all in all, any dead pigeon doesn't go to waste with old Bobby Guy Films here. No, 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 sir. We got Fred, we got our lab at home that we're training. And a dead pigeon might be a blessing. We can actually train Fred with this dead pigeon quite a bit in the backyard. So that's what we're gonna go do. But I am going to reset this trap indeed. Man, I'd never thought that we were going to catch something on it. Honestly, I am pleasantly surprised, but a little disappointed as well. But I am rebaiting here. Look at that. They picked all that wheat out of that doorway. The only one thing to do now is just keep it in the middle, basically. I'm going to put some right here, too, right next to the door. Make them feel a little more comfortable. That's how I caught that first one in here. And I'm going to broadcast a little that way, a little that way, and right to the trap. Let them find it. Give them a little golden road to come up here in this trap, you know what I mean? Oh, Fred, look what we got there, buddy. Ooh, what's that? He says, oh, that's a pigeon, Dad. You want to come play? Come on, bud. Come on. Oh. This isn't our first rodeo. We've already done this with other pigeons on hunts. I brought them home. Maybe I only brought home one or two, but he absolutely loves them. Loves them. Heel. Heel. Good boy. We're just going to play around, let him get the hang of it. Go get him, Fred. Good. Here. Good. What do you think, dude? You look good with that bird in your mouth, man. Oh, you want it? You want it, buddy? Oh. Go get him. He's gone. Oh yeah, that's a boy. That's a boy. Yeah, my bird, my bird, my bird. Heel, heel, good set. Good boy. But he absolutely loves, loves, loves birds in his mouth. I can tell you what. This is gonna work out, dude. We're gonna work out just fine together, huh? 
here Fred, here, here Fred, here, here Fred, here. That's a boy. So we did some more gun training the other day. I think that video already went up, uh, but it's been great. He's been doing great at the gun training. I mean, awesome, not gun shy at all. We have progressed so much. I can't thank you guys enough for all of your helpful comments, helpful tips down in the comment section below. Whether it's just good helpful tips for me training Frederick or trapping birds, Y'all come through every time. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Fred's looking great. And we are going to play some more. But I hope you guys enjoy the videos. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for you, boy. Let's get this video over a thousand likes, shall we? With your help, we can do it. It helps a ton, let me tell you. Oh, you got your Fred rig? You want to play with him too? Here, no, no, we don't chew. No, no. Come here, Fred. Heel. 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 It's good. Watch out, Bubba. Ready? Get him, Frederick. Oh, where's he going, Bubba? He gonna go get that pigeon? Yeah. Yeah. But if you guys haven't subscribed, you need to. We're coming out with like five videos minimum a week. I mean, a ton. I really cranked it up here on the channel just for you guys. You guys are loving it. So am I. It's awesome to have you guys here, but we will see you on the next one. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism